Aries, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, my love. Readings are timeless. When you find the message or the message finds you, that means that there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Okay, please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Aries, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, okay? I thank you in advance for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so very much. I truly appreciate you. This is all energy, no gender, but you're going to hear me use the terms he, she, they, them, it, half of you never know. Just take it how it resonates. And remember, the roles can always be reversed. All right, Aries. I pulled uh, Wisdom of the Oracle for you, card number 19. Flexible. Flexible. Um, there's change all around you right now. All around you. Up, down, side to side. Don't matter. Pick one. Okay? Everything's changing. Life is changing. Okay? People are changing. Circumstances are changing. The weather is changing. Pick one. Don't matter to me. Aries, the energy is calling for flexibility. The Aries uh, energy right now needs to just be able to bend. <clears throat> Excuse me. And understand that whatever is changing, it's not breaking you. Okay? You can persevere. You will persevere. I'm going to say it like that. You will. Okay? What's around the corner at the bottom of the deck is a new life. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. And then how the song go? <laughs> Number 39. Okay? Right under that between worlds. It's an uncomfortable situation. But you are transitioning right now. Okay? And life is transitioning around you. It's not just you that's changing everything is changing so it this may feel a little uncomfortable because i know you guys like to be three steps five steps and ten steps ahead of the game but at this point i just think that you know just try to ground yourself as much as you can and know that god is in control okay god is in control and you'll be fine um, at this time, because of the changes and to not drive yourself crazy, you might want to just meditate and pray a little bit. Um, just take some five minutes a day, you know, just to calm your spirit because sometimes it feels like you're in a whirlwind. Like I'm, I'm literally feeling dizzy because that's how it feels. Like everything is just bup, 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 everywhere you turn. You know what I mean? Nausea right, really might be a problem right now. I'm not going to lie. And you're not seasick because you're not on a damn boat, you know. It's just that everything, it, it, the elements are changing. Energies are changing. Everything, for whatever reason around you right now, that's what I'm feeling, okay. But just know that on the horizon is a whole new life, a whole new life. So let the change happen, okay. Um, we're going to put some tarot down with author. Center energy, please. Oh, five of swords. Yeah, changes. All around you, people are leaving. You're gaining. Um, <sighs> battles are coming to an end. Um, there are situations where you may feel like you won, but you feel like you lost. I ain't gonna lie. Like, almost as if it was a battle that was destined to have no winner, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Crowning energy. What's crowning? King of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Air energy here. Guys, I'm going to try to call the signs if you're new to my channel. But remember, anybody has the ability to embody any energy at any time. Do not get caught up on the signs. Feel the energy. Okay? Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Uh, with the King of Cups and Four of Pentacles, I have to say that crowning you right now is an energy of uh, emotional control uh, to the 25th power. I'm going to say that. Okay. Um, I stand by my original suggestion of staying grounded, meditate, you know, control 
how this change is affecting you. All right. How this change around you is affecting you because there is some change around you. But hold on. OK, a new life is right around the corner. What's undermining Aries, please? Seven of Wands reverse. You feel vulnerable. You do. You feel vulnerable. You feel victimized. You feel that. I don't have a fight in me or this wasn't supposed to happen like this. This wasn't supposed to end like this. This wasn't supposed to be like this. Um, this person and that person and that one, they wasn't supposed to do this. No, but it is what it is. Past energy. What brought this on? Five of wands, seven of swords, foolishness. Foolishness to the 25th power. Foolishness to the 25th power. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, to an energy of the Five of Swords. This is a cluster. It's a cluster and it's all foolishness. Aries, it's so important right now for you to not get caught up in the foolishness around you because this these people have their own journey. Don't, don't take on their burdens. Don't take on their foolishness. Don't engage in the fight. You understand? You've thought your way through up until this point. But now it seems like the energy has went from, uh, I don't know, around the corner to now it's at your kitchen table. If that's how it feels. It's just really, yeah, I want to say that. I want to say like it felt like it was in a distance and you were looking from a distance, but now it's like right in your face. You understand what I'm saying? Future energy, where is this going? Please, for Aries. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Eight of Swords reverse. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this. It, it, it's, not, it's not going nowhere fast, but again, flexible, okay? Because at least it's not taking control over your mind no more, even though it might be something that you have to deal with for a while. So nine times out of 10, we're talking here about family. I ain't going to lie. Or your job, something that you might have to just adjust to, adjust to be flexible about same energy bottom of the deck justice libra energy they're going to get their karma let that let god be god okay in the mean and in between time yes this is all around you justice is here okay everybody will get their just due balance will come back justice is balance fairness you understand um it brings, uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, I have to say that it does bring karma. It does bring dharma, you know. If you've done the right thing, if you've done a bad thing, that you know, whoever done bad going to get a whipping. But it doesn't look like it's you. I think that people around you right now are just in the middle of their own drama. And for what and whatever reason, it just seems to be centered around your personal space, your personal energy, Um like somebody feels like they're getting away. I have to say this with this five of swords, but they're not there. They might be over who you call it. Uh, feel like they're getting over on you, but God sees them like, you understand what? So they're really getting nothing. You know what I mean? But I don't want you to get caught up in their karma. Don't take it on. It's not yours. Okay. It's not yours. You have a new life coming in. You have new freedom coming in with this eight of swords reverse. OK, but it just seems like it's going to last a little longer than I would like. I ain't going to lie, because who wants to be around all this foolishness? Um, I think we're going to clarify with Lyseers. Guys, if you're new to my channel, everything is uh, upright. I do read uh, reversals if it comes out as such, as you can see. Um, Aries, I'm sorry that right now this is not a, a comfortable position, but I think overall you're doing quite well. And I know it may not feel like it, but you are, okay? Yeah. Um, they're going to walk away on their own. You understand? Yeah, that's how I feel. This situation is going to settle itself. I want to say you will, but it doesn't feel like you. Yeah. Uh, for some of you, 
with the six of cups, I have to say this may be who what you felt like was a, a past life connection or a twin flame connection. Um, could be with a Libra or a water sign. They're, they're moving on. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, because they feel like they, it's not going to work no more. That everything has just fell apart. They're working on themselves. I ain't going to lie. Um, I don't like this. Past energy. Let's start with the Seven of Swords, Five of Wands. Please clarify for Aries. Full reverse. Okay. I, I feel like somebody didn't come forward in the past with this full in reverse. Full energy in the upright Aries, uh, Aquarius energy uh, is a leap of faith. Uh, stepping out on faith. Stepping out on um, the unknown. Okay. Having trust in uh, the divine. And with this five of wands and seven of swords, it's almost as if Somebody tricked themselves into missing an opportunity. I'm not going to lie. That's how this feels. Tell me more. Past energy, please, for Aries. Past energy, please, for Aries. Clarify. Thank you so much. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it didn't work. <sighs> Could it be because of too much work? You know, working too much, too much on your plate or their plate. Um... Hmm. Not spreading time equally is how this feels. Not spreading time equally. Tell me about the Five of Swords current position for Aries. Six of Swords reverse. Um, I feel like Aries, to be honest, you were willing to go through whatever for however long um, to keep this individual, whoever this is to you. You know, you didn't want them to leave. All right. But um, it's almost as if this person, whoever this is to you, or this could be you. Remember, roles can always be reversed. They felt like you're, they, they were getting away from chaos. I want to say it like that. Tell me more. Aries energy. Six of swords reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Five of Wands again. There's a lot of fighting here. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot going on. God darn. I mean, I have the Five of Wands twice. I have the Seven of Swords. I have the Five of Swords. I have the Six of Swords reverse. And through it all, you feel like you really have no way to, to protect yourself. And that's why I'm really going back to this flexible energy in this new life. Let God be God. Just pray your way through this. Pray your way through this. And let it, it's going to, it's going to, it's not, I can't say that. I can't say that you're not involved. I can't give you that pass, Aries. I swear, I wish I could. But you have a hand in something somewhere. Maybe it's because of just these people live in your house and, they're just in your vicinity. I told you, it's like it's at your table. I feel like this is really at your, your dinner table, your breakfast table. That's how this feels. And I feel like it's just been ongoing for some time. I think at the in the past that you saw a way out or a way through and you didn't take it. And I think it's because you either had too much going on and you didn't see that how bad it was or you might have had a third party situation. I'm saying you, it's your reading. You know it can always be reversed. Don't act like that, all right? But what I'm saying is that this situation, it, 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 it's, not, it's not one thing going on here. God darn, that's what I want to say. There is not one. I can't say this is this and this is that and this is that. There's not one thing going on here. It's like two, three, four things going on at the same time. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let me get one more on the current energy. Six of Swords, Reverse, Five of Wands. Tell me more, please. Two of Swords, Magician. All right. So currently, you're really trying to manifest your way 
through a maze. Let's say it like that. You're trying to manifest a, uh, the proper uh, 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 enlightened path. I'm going to say it like that. Like you're trying to light a match so that you can see where you are, where you're going. You know, um, I do like that the magician here, because that means that you are currently praying and meditating. So that because that's the best thing I have right now. I'm not kidding. This is a cluster. That's just what it is. That's the energy it is right now. OK, it's a cluster and it's an uncomfortable position and you feel completely vulnerable. And I don't want you to feel like that. I want you to know that a new life is coming. Justice is here. Okay. Crowning energy, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Holding on to old stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Old emotions. But if that's what's getting you through, King of Cups again. If love is what's right now, need, what you need to focus on is what love is. If that allows you ease, then let it ease you. Let it ease your spirit, calm your spirit. Let it uh, put a coat on your uh, energy bubble. You understand what I'm saying? Remembering good times. If that's what's work for you, then let it work for you. Um, because you're surrounded by chaos. And I think that there is maybe a specific someone that you think about that makes you smile or makes you feel good. Let that person, let that energy continue to do that for you. Um, anything that just calms the storm. Tell me more. Crowning energy. Crowning energy. Page of Pentacles. You may have gifted this person with something or um, they may be, um, be thinking about giving you a gift of love, but it's small. I'm not going to lie. Pages are small. Um, it just may be something like a phone call or a text. Okay. Maybe wanting to meet. Why is uh, the Seven of Wands revert? Queen of Cups. I feel like you just... Aries, I, I swear. What's undermining you, like I said, is a, a position of vulnerability. You feel vulnerable. I think that your the vulnerability right now is bringing up emotions of the support that you don't have. So right now, if you're thinking about... Maybe a parent that you lost that you wish was here during this time to settle this matter. You know, that shouldn't be a hindrance. It should be motivation for you to know that they're still watching over the situation and they just letting these fools sink or swim. Okay. Um, It's almost as if you're saying, how do I fight against somebody? How do I know more than somebody that know everything? And they don't. They're just... Her eyes are closed and her arms are raised because she submits. With this Queen of Cups, she submits to whatever God has for her. She's sitting in emotion as well. You see the pool? She's sitting in the water. But what she's saying is, God, you take the, take the wheel. It's not like this energy is not against you. It more so feels like you're saying, how do I defend myself against, against somebody that's not even seeing me? You understand what I'm saying? Tell me more. Undermining energy. Eight of Wands reverse. You may not be in contact. And again, with the Six of Cups, you might feel like you're, this is a soulmate connection or a past life connection. This may be somebody you grew up with, but the communication is stalled right now with this Eight of Wands reverse. I'm not going to lie. So how do you qu uh, fix or change or adapt to something that you feel that you have no control of? And I feel you on that. But what I'm saying is that the time and effort and energy that you're putting into these emotions are slowing you down. You Right now, you're just, your energy is calling you to be open and flexible to the change around you. Let it happen. You have a new life on the horizon. Okay. What's for you is on the horizon. Let's move to the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Eight of Swords reverse. Really seeing... Things for what they are, I tell you that. Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. 
So it looks like you're coming out. Tell me more. Aries, future energy. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords. Uh, it looks like you're trying to come out. It's like you're moving into an energy of really seeing who, what, where, why, and how. Um, truth's definitely coming to the surface. Um, really seeing um, your part or somebody's existence of how much of a burden uh, you felt that they were with this Ten of Wands um, and really reflecting on that. I mean, to be honest, it may emotionally wear you completely out. I think that, though, it'll be a freedom that you, it, it just looks like a freedom to me that you might not have thought would be a freedom. Okay. This is legal. It's like somebody somebody is going to jail. I ain't going to lie. Four to ten months, maybe. Yeah, or a house arrest. I ain't going to lie. Mm-hmm. Let me get one more. Future energy. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands upright. So, yeah, you're going to learn how to defend yourself, um, defend your peace, defend your castle, protect what's yours. And with the seven of cups here, you might not know who, when, why, or how, but you're going to know God. You understand me? And I think you're going to take that and run with it and just really start enjoying life again with this nine of wands, looking at things from a new perspective, reintroducing, reconnecting with friends and family, even though the nights might be a little tough. I ain't going to lie, because you're going to be thinking about the past with this five of cups, but you are moving forward. And new love is on the horizon. And it looks like it's going to be the love for you. Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. It might be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag as well. Um, and they're also in the same position. They're trying to make a new direction in their life. So it looks like you're going to meet up with somebody or some energy that's um, on the same page. All right? All right, Aries. I'm going to leave this right where it's at. I hope it helps. If any event, none of this resonates, that's okay. Check your moon and rising, but don't take this energy with you, please. Leave it here for someone else. Guys, thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Support the channel. It's free, okay? Remember, we're all perfectly imperfect. Talk to you next time. Bye.